Yes guys, we have an urgent crypto update. Elon Musk just did some really crazy stuff over on Twitter and it has left crypto in the freaking dust. XRP is down, Bitcoin is down, almost any crypto is down right now, but I am buying the freaking dip everybody. I'm buying the freaking dip. If you're excited about crypto, let me know in the comment section down below by saying yes or saying hodl or saying something like that and if you're still into crypto and you still believe in crypto make sure you press that like button i kind of forgot the normal intro so i guess uh hey guys what is up it's dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today we're going to discuss exactly what just happened and what i think the implications are what i think is going to happen everything like that so to start off not leave you guys hanging too long i actually met up with a couple of cool guys today you most likely no you probably do not know but i met up with um mm crypto and da vinci and alex today it was pretty cool to meet them just a quick little shout out to those guys amazing people mr will said bitcoiners are going to slap themselves next quarter when they find out tesla dumped the rest of their bitcoin holdings little side note that is also the reason why i didn't make this video earlier because usually i'm always on spot with the news instantly when it came out i would have updated but i was in the you know i was busy Tesla dumped the rest of the crypto holdings. With the amount of hate Bitcoin, uh, Elon Musk is getting, I would not blame him. And Elon Musk said, indeed. Now, I've already said it over on Patreon a little while ago, but I'm going to say it here again. We don't actually know what the indeed is a reply to. We don't know if he's replying to the fact that Bitcoiners would slap themselves if, or that it will actually happen, or that you know, the, the people wouldn't blame him or that, you know, we wouldn't blame him for it. And he's like, yeah, indeed. Or he's just trolling us. That could also be something that he's just like, yeah, 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 sure. We don't know anything. We just know he's really a big memer and he's kind of messing about right now with a really, you know, with a, with a, with a little, little, um, big amount of money, I guess, because he's moving billions like that. But then again, it could also be that they've really sold their, their Bitcoin. Then again, I, I don't know. In the recent post, they said they would not sell Bitcoin. So I'm not really feeling that. A little bit later, somebody says, hey, hey uh, can you quickly actually share that tweet to everybody? He did as well. So I'm not sure if he's really trying to meme around or, or what. Maybe he's just really being too honest. I, I have no idea. Uh, then again, I also think that crypto is not going to die out from this. Mostly the reason I say so, and I think that is because, well, if you take a good look at the charts right now, Bitcoin fell like crazy, right? But it did make a little bit of a bottom already here. And even though it might go lower, what Elon Musk said is not actually necessarily that negative, nor do we actually think that Elon Musk or Tesla is actually that important for crypto. It was just a big move. But then again, it might all be a marketing scheme. It might all be a bigger plan because all that they're doing here is just really messing about. I have no idea why this is going on. And until, unless you're trying to call me basically like um, that Elon Musk, for example, wants to get some cheaper Bitcoin. He, for example, said first that they're buying. Then again, that they are also adopting and, and really using Bitcoin. Then all of a sudden they're like, no, nah, we're selling some and now nah, we're not accepting Bitcoin anymore. And then now he's also confirming that they're selling everything, sort of, right? It couldn't be anything more than he's just trying to get some extra cheap Bitcoin because Michael Saylor and almost any freaking big guy on Bitcoin is going to buy this dip like crazy. And I think even now, a lot of people are buying the dip because otherwise, usually, all coins fall like crazy. Specifically here, if we take a look at Bitcoin, that one just fell down through a lot of levels we've not witnessed in a really good while. It just fell through and made a new lower low here, ridiculously quick and ridiculously low at about 43 point something thousand. XRP fell to about 134. Usually this would fall to about 98 cents or something like that. And even the entire altcoin market cap didn't actually record a new low just quite yet. Can it still happen? Uh, yes, definitely. It can still go down lower and lower and lower. Don't get this, uh, you know, they, don't get your hopes up just quite yet. But it's, it's definitely quite interesting how this all went along. Then also on the same note, we have the weekly close coming up in a couple of hours from right now. A lot of people are saying that this is going to be the most important part of everything because if Bitcoin closes negatively or at least below uh, about, I think it was 45 point something thousand, basically this little area right here then things would turn out to be kind of negative. And as it currently stands, oh, it's, it's going to close below there, which is basically a little bit of a reversal. Then again, I'm not too worried about it. It's making lower lows right now. It's basically like this, right? So Bitcoin, first of all, made higher highs and higher lows, just like that. At one point, it switched over. As you can see, it was kind of there. When it turned around and made lower lows and lower highs, basically looking like this. If that's the pattern that we're continuing on, which is kind of looking like right now, making, again, lower lows from this point on forward, yeah, things are, are not looking that juicy. Then again, I'm not that certain that the bull run is over. I, I do still think that all coins should have fallen more had that been the case. So I'm still hodling. I'm still extremely, extremely freaking excited. And my stance of sell your Bitcoin by alts still applies. I've been saying that for a little while here. And as long as all coins don't free fall 
I would say that all coins are the better option because this strength in alts you don't see very often. So this is already saying something really quite big, especially since we got some bigger candles, some juicy candles and some juicy action right now for XRP. Things are still looking good, I'm not gonna lie to you. Things are still looking quite juicy. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Barry Silbert said a couple of hours ago, longing for the days when we all just crapped on the gold industry. Crypto or us posted, don't fall for the FUD, stay strong and DCA plus HODL. I posted over on Twitter just now, I think, that I'm buying the freaking dip on XRP because I am. I'm buying, I don't really care. By the way, guys, I just made a, a pretty big trade here over on Bybit. What I did was actually the moment that Elon Musk tweeted this out, I put up a short position while I was in the car with uh, with MM Crypto and, and DaVinci. It was pretty damn funny. Because I put up that short and I didn't actually talk about it too much because I was a little bit insecure about it. But it's just the usual, right? If you see a tweet like that quickly and we saw it within three minutes, boom, instantly goes short because, well, you can make a lot of money that way. And so I'm definitely good right now for a couple of weeks. Again, just happy to live my life because uh, that was a pretty big trade. <laughs> you know, it's just sometimes the luck, man. It's just sometimes the luck. And if you're having notifications for Elon Musk on, I'm not exactly sure if you got this one, uh, but somebody just was sending it around really quickly to people over on Twitter because I'm not sure if you get notifications if he doesn't post it officially. I'm not sure if you get notifications to his replies either, uh, but I guess this one, you definitely got a notification for if you're following him because he just, you know, put this up. No, I'm not sure actually. These are both replies. He didn't put this on his main feed because he didn't tweet it out directly. These are both replies. So I'm not exactly sure why so many people saw it so quickly, but then again, it's freaking Elon Musk. You know, there's 45, 55, whatever, 55 million followers. A lot of articles already being written, of course, as quickly as, uh, as possible because they get a lot of attention. Musk implies Tesla may sell or has sold Bitcoin holdings. Elon Musk threatens to dump all of his Tesla Bitcoin holdings, pushing Bitcoin to multi-month low. Caitlin Long reveals the real reason people are selling crypto. Quote, markets can now safely predict Bitcoin and crypto prices will likely exhibit high correlation with credit markets, said Long. I think that's uh, definitely interesting. So the founder and CEO of Avanti Financial is claiming Tether's recent disclosure about the stablecoin's reserves may have contributed to the altcoin sell-offs last week. Once more, that was last week. I would say this week is really not the same, but then again, I think she's more so referred to the bigger picture of things. You know, the the grand scheme of things going on with the US, uh, the Federal Reserve and whatnot. There's a, a lot of stuff to be said about that, but that's not for today's video. It's definitely not for today's video. And then here, Elon Musk doubles down on Dogecoin tweets about ideal improvements. This guy, I think we shouldn't take him too seriously because he's really memeing about. He has literally said yesterday or today even that Dogecoin could be the new world currency. Let's quickly see what exactly he wrote over on Twitter. He was basically memeing, about, about, uh, memeing around about that. Let's quickly see. He said on Twitter, Bitcoin is actually highly set. This is also a couple of hours ago, by the way. He's going on at it. Bitcoin is actually highly centralized with super majority controlled by a handful of big mining, aka hashing companies. A single coal mine in Shangjing flooded, almost you know, destroying some miners, and Bitcoin hash rate dropped 35%. Does that sound decentralized to you? And then he says, hey, crypto experts, ever heard of PayPal? It's possible maybe that I know you realize about how money works. And I think that is because he also was one of the you know, early guys in PayPal, one of the co-founders. Not sure how that whole story entails because some people say he's also you know, not a real founder of Tesla. He's just uh, the big guy behind Tesla, but not the original founder. I'm not sure how it works with PayPal. You know, but uh, he knows how money works, obviously, because he's into that. And Michael Saylor, again, the, the big Bitcoin bull, the biggest Bitcoin bull. It's funny how the connection is kind of going on between Elon and um, Michael Saylor because I would say Michael Saylor definitely does not approve of everything that he's saying right now. For example, Elon says here, he should wear outfit for Halloween, but with Bitcoin tattooed um, high on his thighs. This kind of would say that Elon wants to get Bitcoin into a bear market because, you know, having Bitcoin to do that would be kind of a scary thing, right? Or, or a negative thing. I'm not exactly sure, but it's, it's, it's been heavy. Elon is uh, manipulating the market like crazy. You might call crypto, you know, infant or something like that because he's able to move it. Am I saying that crypto is going to reverse already? Um, no. I definitely would not suggest a long position here unless you're really a risky type of guy. I would say, you know, let's go with the flow. DCA is basically double cost average, buy your way down. If things are really over, again, it's always a temporary thing because we all know crypto is here to stay. It just depends on your perspective, depends on everything, man. But we're making a lot of money shorting crypto a couple of hours ago here. I still think it's actually possible to do that. Then again, this is actually a, um, let me show you guys. This is actually a bigger view of XRP, and it's only been the last couple of hours, for example, this candle right here, I believe, that Elon actually said his stuff. As you can see, people did not react so heavily to it. It's actually only more so on a, on a real short time frame that people reacted, but 
The news just came out. It just came out like a couple of hours ago. Bitcoin might actually keep going lower from all of this. So I'm not saying you should actually buy just quite yet. I'm saying let's wait it off. But I would have expected all coins to fall a lot more drastically, uh, nearly instantly after the news, if they were really going to drop to zero. So right now I'm not that bearish, but you, know, you guys know what I mean, right? We're staying positive until the opposite is proven. I don't think Elon Musk was really too certain with his statements. He didn't say, hey, we're going to sell all of Bitcoin. If he does, a little bit negative. But then again, Elon is not freaking, uh, you know, Jesus. He's not going to do everything. So whatever.